morning. Yes, how are you? I'm all right, how are you? I'm doing well now. Um, let me ask you a question. I'm not sure if you know, but I am now recording my sessions. Do you want this session to be recorded or no? Yeah, it's fine. It's okay? All right, so let me... All right, so I'm putting this on. So, you know, I have to ask before, you know, continuing on with session, I mean, with um, recording, because some people don't want to record it. Some people have, you know, personal situations that they don't want to be revealed. So I just got to ask, you know, before, yeah, yeah. yeah, before, you know, continuing on. So one thing, um, let me get out the way first. Yesterday I did attempt to send your bath, but unfortunately because I was rushing to the post office, I left my credit card. So right after, um, your, yo, oh gosh, you, t you could you imagine? I had about like uh, 20 baths, all all at the post office. Packed them up, boxes, all oh. of them. Yes. What? What? Went to went to the post office. I'm like, okay, now it's time to pay. Let me pay, get this out the way. Oh, I'm looking around for my credit card. Oh, nothing. I'm like, you know what? That's what you get. <laughs> I'm like, that's what you get. But um, definitely, they're over there at the post office waiting for me. So, but I had morning schedules, and this you will be my last morning session. So I'll just run over there and um. And ship them off, and then I will send you the confirmation number. You should, today is what, Tuesday? Yeah, you should get your, you're in Texas, you should get yours no later than, um, no later than Friday. No later than Friday, so probably Thursday, um, or Friday morning and afternoon. Now, um, let me, let me see something real quick. Okay, what you want to do first, um, because I'm asking how you should, um, how you should take the baths. What you want to do first is you want to take both of the, um, all-purpose healing baths, the prosperity bath, as I explained to you. The, um, they're both green, so you have two green baths and you have a yellow bath, which is Oshun bath, right? So what you're gonna do is when you take, uh, when you get the baths, you're going to just pour the whole container inside of your bath water right then you know of course you're going to charge the water you know put your set your intentions out of why you're taking these baths etc etc although the baths are magical and potent within themselves i always recommend my clients to you know add their own little twist because you're the one taking them you know my my hands are good but it's your you know creation you you're the one that's manifesting things so you want to, you know, okay. yeah, you want to charge the water, right? So now um, what I want you to do is with the Oshun bath, you're going to take that on a Friday. You're going to take it two times. So you're going to empty. So one container of that uh, Oshun bath is going to be used twice. Now it's already labeled. It's already labeled. So it's, and it's already, I wrote, already wrote two times, like two and an X. So you okay. know. Right, so you would know you're using that two times. One bottle, two times. So you're just going to pour half of that bottle um, into your bath water. And then, you know, you're just going to cleanse yourself. I will also recommend for you to do a small Oshun um, offering when taking these baths. Now, I want you to take it on both of the days. It's going to be on Friday, okay? So two Fridays. So if you, let me see. This is how you do it. And I'm going to send you this recording anyway, so it'll be good. So, oh, okay. Yeah, take, for example, today is Tuesday um, the 8th, right? So you might, you might get the bath no later than Friday the 11th, right? So you are going to start taking the bath on Friday with the, you know, the all-purpose bath. There's no specific day, but I want you to get started as soon as possible. And Friday is a Venus day. Uh, Friday is like a love day. So that would be beneficial for you, right? And then <clears throat> Friday is the master number. Anyway, 11, right? So you want so to, right. So you're going to take the two um, all-purpose baths on Friday, and you can leave one day and then start on, again, Monday, right? 
So, for right. example, now with the old shoon bath, you're going to use the old shoon bath on December 18th, and then you're going to also use it on December 25th, which is on Christmas, Christmas, which makes sense. Which which okay. which is lining up very perfectly because you're starting okay. because you're starting off with taking the bath on the 11th, which is the master number, and then you're gonna take you're gonna finalize this three day bath with um, taking it on December 25th, which is seven two and five is seven, which also represents a Christ number, and that's Christmas Christ month. So we definitely dealing with a spiritual. Um, cleanse now on that day as well. Makes makes sense. Good stuff. Yeah. Good. 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 All right. Let's get into. Um. Do you have any questions for me before we get into the messages or whatnot? Uh, with the baths. Uh, no. At least not yet. Okay. And then, um, with anything else, do you have any other questions, or do you just want to hear some messages or whatnot? Uh, you know what, I do have mm-hmm. a question, and it's really, you did a reading with him before. It's concerning my brother Okay. and his health. Um, he had surgery on his eye um, last Tuesday, mm-hmm. and it was supposed to have been a day surgery. Mm-hmm. Now, he had kidney, uh, kidney, kidney disease, but he was healing himself or getting himself better because we were doing, eating a lot of vegetables. He was going more vegan. Me, I was still eating seafood and vegetables. And it went from what the doctor was telling him his kidneys was at a 9%. So when he went back, it was at a 17%. Mm-hmm. And he was just really forcing him to get on dialysis. Get on dialysis. I don't care if it did go up. Well, anyway, he had the surgery last Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And I had never seen, all of a sudden they say, oh, we're going to keep him because his enzymes to his heart is not right, da 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 you know. So they let me go back and see him. Mm-hmm. And I told him, I said, you know, be careful. I think they're going to try to make you get on dialysis, you know. Um, when he was at, finally got him into a room, I had never seen that many doctors come in there and trying to push that out. It was one doctor I tried to tell her, I said, I think the culprit is his teeth. Because when he went to the dentist, because he doesn't have insurance. So I said, when he went to the dentist, the dentist had already said the infection had spread it into his blood and bones. And until he get his teeth fixed, he's like at a catch-22. Mm-hmm. Cause when you're in pain, your blood pressure rise, and from that, you know, it makes your kidneys. It was like he's at a catch-22. But no one wanted to do this. They just kept pushing the dialysis. And he has another surgery on the 22nd. I'm afraid that I think they're trying to, with the medicine, they're trying to make his kidney kidney fail. Just so he can get on dialysis, I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't know if he should. I, I don't know. Yeah. That's just what I. Just, just by you telling me the story, it does sound fishy. Like this, this, this definitely, definitely sounds fishy. And as you said, and I'm gonna tell you one thing. As you said, the the surgery took longer than usual. Um, my sister actually made the transition. Um, from a small surgery that was supposed to be uh, uh, three hours, but they took the whole day to do it, the whole day up until the night to do it. And she made the transition from them messing her up. Um, So that right there is a red flag. I'm feeling like they need you need to check to see if he got all his organs. I'm being honest with you in that sense. You want to make sure that he has all his organs because you are familiar with organ um, trafficking, right? Right, right. You want to, you know, I sense, you want to make I'm sure sorry, that. But Say I, that. I said that. I said, I said, I wonder. Then when I thought, I said, well, no, they don't want no bad organs. He's sick. But, so that's what made me not think that anymore. But now you bring it up. No, beloved. Oh. Girl, your brother black. What you mean? <laughs> I, I know, but I was thinking he 
in because he was sick, then they wouldn't want sick people organs. That's how, that's what kind of made me put that in the back of my head. Wow. Well, that I'm, is what I thought because he says he doesn't feel right. I'm, I, you want to, you want to, you want to check that out. You just want to be clear on that because um, that that even let me, they, you know how much technology these people have. So who do I go to? For I mean, that? Cause you you can you just go to them doctors. I know you can probably just go like I guess for like a like a, you know play dumb and go for like a regular checkup. To make sure that he has all his organs. Of course, he has his heart because if he doesn't, if he didn't have his heart, then he wouldn't be able to breathe or you know the blood be yeah. able to circulate. But you want to make sure that something, rather he something something is something is off with this. Something is definitely definitely off with this. And I'm telling you one thing for sure. Although he's a sick man or whatever you claim to be. Um, but for them, sick is good. For us, say, let me tell you something. If you go to a doctor, if you go to a hospital or whatever and get a checkup and they say that you're perfectly fine, guess what? You might be sick. Because according to the standards that, you know, this American society is based on, is based on white, um, health. White health and black health are two different things. If they tell you that you're perfectly fine, that means you're sick. Guess what? Because for a white person, they are healthy according to their health, not our health. The, 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 the medical officials are not designed for black folks. So whatever they tell us, yeah, whatever they, and sometimes people will even go to these doctors and say, listen, it's something really wrong with me. I need help. I need help. And they'll run diagnosis and all this stuff, and they don't find nothing. Why? Because, again, they, their standards are based on white people and probably okay, uh, Asian uh, standards, health standards, not melanated folks, not melanated folks, not black folks. So if, if, if these people are saying, listen, he's sick, he may not even be all of that sick that they portray it to be. I'm, t I'm keeping it real. I'm telling you the truth. You know, and this is not to scare you. This is just to make you aware and analyze this thing on all sides because just by you telling me this story, something sounds fishy, okay? Yes, yes, you know, they urge people and they, oh, dialysis, dialysis, yeah, because they make more money. All dialysis is is, um, you know, sugar and water. So that right there is going to make the, the kidneys even weak. And I'm going to let you know now, if it's, if it's dealing with um, um, diabetes or anything like that, you're not looking at the kidneys. You should be looking at the pancreas. You right. Should... He has a diabetic. Right. And that's what I'm feeling. And that's what I'm saying. If you, if, if it, if it, and, and it's good that he made, you know, a change in his diet because that's only helping him. But if he gets on that dialysis, he's going to be dehydrated. And then he's going to have to drink more water, more water, just to balance out the sugar that they're giving him, which is in the um, dialysis. He can, he, can easily, he can easily reverse what's going on with him with a clean diet, you know, with a clean so diet. Should he not, so should he not go for the other surgery on his other eye? What is because the condition? What it, what is the condition? Let me give you some proper. Let me give you some some down to earth advice. What is the condition? Because I can tell you, no, don't go. You know they trying to get. You know they trying to get him. I could tell you that, but if he's in a situation where the surgery is really much needed, then I will recommend for you to do so. But if it's not much needed. And he is able to survive, then I will tell you no, and I will tell you to heal himself in another type of way. But just because me, I am, you know, pro holistic. You can do everything on your own. Blah blah blah. I'm not for the doctors. I don't go to the doctors. I don't go to the hospital. None of that. You know. So of course, someone like me would tell you not to. But I want to give you the best advice and the best recommendation in this situation you get what i'm saying if your if your brother is in deep need of 
another eye surgery, okay, if it's like, this is like, no, he has to, has to, has to, then yes. But if not, then definitely no. Uh, it's a detached retina. But the other one, the one they're getting ready to do, they're just going to do a laser because that's not as bad as his first one. The, the first eye they did, it's not even guaranteed that he leaves even see. Um, and which he can't see still. Um, and the other one, it's getting bad, but it's not nowhere near as bad as the right eye. And the right eye is the one that they um the, he already yeah, operated on. Well, I would I would I would say to just continue on with the right eye and don't even do nothing with the left eye because if the left eye ain't nothing wrong with it, you don't want them to to mess his left eye up and then both eyes be you know be messed up you know yeah. or jacked up. You don't want that. I would I would barely yeah. And I'm I'm seeing your spirit guys are shaking their head no. So you, I, I would recommend not for you to do the left eye, but continue working on the right eye if you're saying it's a detached retina. Now, if he's not seeing, because there's, there's different retinas, there's different cones, rods in the back of our eyes. So if one of them is messed up, that, that will not affect the other ones because we have thousands and trillions of rods and cones in the back of our eyes. Right. You get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, you know, you got to you gotta really, but if it's a detached, that means if it's a detached ligament or whatnot, you, that has to be attached in order, you know, for all of the connections to function properly. Um, and that's, and that's where the, like, you know, the, the catch-22 come in. It's like, damn, should I go back? and let them do this, are they going to do the right thing? And I do feel that they will do the right thing, but I'm telling you, don't let these people go lower than their eye. Okay. Okay. Don't let these people go lower than their eye. Um, give me a second. Was he having bleeding? Was there bleeding? Lots of bleeding? In his eye? Yeah. Uh, in his right eye, that's why they went and did the full surgery on it because it was blood behind that eye right right there's a lot of re right there was a and lot his of left eye is not like that at all it is detached but nowhere near how that right eye is yeah Damn. are you going to a specialist are these people specialists or just hospital doc like is there specialists in hospitals because he doesn't have insurance our county has their own little and you have to, depending on your income, they base what you pay based on your income. Yeah. Because he has no insurance because he's no longer working because he couldn't sleep. Right. Yeah, and then that, so then that means that you're going to have to stick with the, I don't know, I'm just feeling like they're not, they're not that equipped. I just feel like it's, I just, I just feel, you know, sometimes, and and it and it can be and it can be the fact that you know it may be like um a class thing, but you know if you play if you pay top dollars, you you guarantee that your surgery is going to be on point. But if you don't have enough money or you're less fortunate, then I just feel like you know that sometimes people just do anything for you. You know they just like they don't really care about the outcome, and some of uh, some people are still experimenting. It, uh -huh. it, it be it be that situation, and they put those that are still experimenting, such as interns, in places where, you know, the families do not have the income or is low family or is what you just explained to me. They're not putting no, they're not putting no intern in no high, high advanced people where they're paying top dollars, top $50,000 to do a surgery or something like that. You crazy? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And that's the reason why I'm feeling like they're taking longer than usual because they may not have that, that much of experience people working on board. Okay. Yeah. 
you got to think about it like this. This is this is like, you know, and I'm glad that you, you know, you, you reached out to me for this advice because, you know, you just want what's best for your brother, you know. You just want what's best for him and you want another opinion on this situation. But there's definitely something fishy um, going on in terms of, you know, the, the lower body stuff. What do you want to go down there for? I'm like they focusing on your kidneys and you just had eye surgery. You get what I'm saying? That's 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 that that doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> that doesn't make that doesn't make sense at all. And that that raised the red flag to you right there. So that goes to show again, never second guess yourself. And remember, as I told you before, um, as you explained to me, uh, I was speaking to you about the soul chakra, the the yellow chakra. That's the gut. That's your gut feeling. That's your gut feeling. That red flag already raised to you. Now, why the hell, you know, if we're dealing with your eyes, why are they going down with your kidneys again? That's a red flag right there. Never go against yourself. That's right there. Prime example. You know it. Yep. I'm telling you, something, something don't sound right. Something, don't, don't, something doesn't sound right with, with, with uh... With, come on, you can you can reverse diabetes just just by changing your diet. You know, cleansing the blood, dandelion. I always re- recommend dandelion. You know, burdock. Yeah, we can. Uh, yeah. Yeah, burdock. Yeah. You know, uh, root tonics. I just did um, a video on a whole uh, body detox thing. Very bitter. That will help. That cleanse you all out. Knock out that diabetes, cancer, all of that. I'll, I'll perhaps um. Uh, you need to tag, you need to write on my wall so I can see exactly who you are, and I'll tag you um, in the okay. video. Yeah, so I'll tag you in the video, and you can see it for yourself. Come on. This is, this is nothing, this is nothing uh, difficult to heal or to reverse, but the main, the key is that you have to remain consistent. You know, you have to continue keep doing this thing. I'm on a healing journey right now, going deeper inside of myself, cleansing myself. You know, staying away from people. I'm on this journey right now. The most, the most amount of people that I'm speaking to is my clients and a few, a few close friends. I'm not, I'm not associating myself with society at this point. Nope. Yep. Consistency is the key. Yep. So definitely, um. Not the left eye, but, you know, if, if it's needed, yeah, the right eye. Um, I would definitely recommend to just patch that up a little bit more. Um, but definitely not the, not the left eye. Okay. Yep. Yep. And then, and then, to, and then to visualize your brother being he- healthy. You know, you want to get into meditation, you want to get into visualization, you want to get into manifesting what it is that you want for your brother. You said he had a, he got a reading from me one time? Uh-huh. As a matter of fact, he was at the doctor's office that day you talked to him, and he said the phone disconnected, and I said, I wish he could have got somewhere where you could really sit instead of being in that doctor's office. And he said he was waiting for his prescriptions now. And he asked you, asked him, do you have any questions? And he told, he asked you, should he get the medicines? You said, go ahead and get it, but don't take them. Oh. You wouldn't take them. Oh, so I told, and, so I told him to play the game. I must have told him right. to play the game. Yeah, that sounds like yeah, nice. and, and you had recommended some. He has ADD, so whatever it is you said, he just don't remember. <laughs> but oh, it's new she. Yeah, so I'm a I don't remember what she thought. I saw. Great. I forgot you got ADD and you had all that, you know, stuff, you know, all that other distraction around it when he was talking to you. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, if he has, uh-huh. if he has ADD, you, <laughs> no, I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, if he has ADD, well, if he claimed to have ADD, because ADD, I, I, Shoot, if that's the case, everybody got ADD. So so many people can't even sit straight for five minutes. So if that's the case, you know, it's just words being played. But if he has ADD, you're dealing with the central nervous system. 
Um, so you want to repair the central nervous system to calm himself down, you know, because it's a hyperactive thing happening with him, right? Or perhaps he, he might be sweating or he just can't pay attention, you know, for a long particular time, anything in that nature. So you definitely want to um, get with some Nervino. And I, act, I actually have some Nervino there, and I can show you how it looks in this recording um, if you're interested in, in, in purchasing it. It's from um, Dr. Sabi. Are you familiar with Dr. Sabi? Yeah. Okay, now let so let me show you what what I would recommend for you to take, um, well for your brother to take whenever you get a chance. Give me one second, okay? I'm gonna show okay. it to you. All right. I'm back. So I'm showing this to you now. Let me make sure uh, this is okay. Nervino here, Nervino, and you are in Texas, so I don't know a specific spot, but you can go online um, to rather uh, the the fig tree online dot com or um, Dr. Sabi sell food products. You can just Google it and it'll come up. You wanna get you wanna get Nervino and you wanna get Ban Two or Banju, I believe. Um, that's the name of that product and that specifically deals with the central nervous system. Now, right now, what you can get, like as as a wait time. Give me a second. Let me hear what they're telling me. You wanna get you some ver uh, Vervain. Uh, vervain tea. Uh, yeah, the vervain tea. Okay, V. Yeah, uh, V E R V A N E, vervain tea. That's how I'm hearing it. And it may be similar or whatnot, but it helps calm the nerves, soothe the nerve, soothe the nerve, and helps to repair the central nervous system. But Two, it's interesting that now we're speaking about it because that that whole body detox that I um, shared on Facebook the other day will also help with the central nervous system because it's a holistic approach to cleansing and repairing the body itself. So we're dealing with cleansing and detox and the liver, and I and I believe I did mention that um, detox and the liver, um, detox in the kidneys, the blood. Uh, the circulatory system for those that are anemic, um, reversing cancer, you know, and, and actually this is something that I wasn't even selling, but I guess because people are so interested in my products and what I do, some people actually, you know, bought the product. So that's good, you know, and I make it here and I just send it off to you, you know, make it right here from my kitchen, send it off to you. Okay. Yeah, so that will also help um, with his condition because... I feel like with him, because he has multiple issues happening, um, you want to approach it holistically. Also, Dr. Sabi also has um, an eye wash um, that he sells, but uh, you can get yourself some eye bright. And you want to give your, bro your brother want to wash his eye out with eye bright, okay? That's good, too. Definitely good. Okay. okay. And what you do... And what you do with the eye bright is, um, you know, you take a pinch or you take a good amount, you put it in a cup, you boil distilled uh, water, pour it over, and then let it seep, you know, let it get warm or whatever, whatever. Put it in a glass, in a, you know those dark bottles? Like those, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You want to store it in that. You want to store the, the, yeah, you want to store the eye bright in that. And then you can put it in the refrigerator or whatever the situation is. But you all, you always want to have it warm. Like not hot, not cold, but warm. And it will begin like, you know, removing mucus or any type of infections in your eye. That's even something that you can do with the left eye for your brother. Yep. Okay. Definitely. Yep. Definitely. Okay. Now, I have one more question. Sure. Um, with my reading, 
a couple of months ago. Mm-hmm. I had asked you whether I was going to have a baby or whatever, and you told me about older guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm still stuck on that because I guess I just don't like older men. Mm-hmm. My question is, when you thought of the thing, was he you know, be my dad or granddad? Was he that old? No. No, I doubt it. I mean, well, look, listen, you're dealing with the, no, let me talk to you, because you, because we're dealing with the spirit realm here, you know, so the old that they told me even could be young, or the old could really, really be old. I'm just communicating the messages that they're, they're speaking, you know, they're telling me in terms of, listen, he's an older man, so, you know. It, it, he, you, you. I just feel like you have to feel it out in a sense where you know it's right, and that goes back to saying going within, you know, and not second guessing yourself because you know sometimes when people come into your life, you know, you have this feeling about them like, okay, well, who is he, or this is how this person makes me feel, or sometimes you have to overlook certain things because. You never know who your soulmate is. We might have we might have passed passed up so many of our soulmates only because of our pickiness. Okay. You know. So I I do feel that he you know he will be an older man and that's still resonating um with me and again it could be older in mentality it could be older in spirituality it could be older in physical appearance. You know, but he is something is going to be a little bit more developed than you. So it could be age, it could be spirituality, it could be mental, it could be a lot of different things. Yeah. Okay. All right, beloved. All right. All right. Well, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be off. You know, to send out your bath for sure. Um, if you have any other questions um, pertaining to this reading, you know, feel free to email me when I, whenever I get a chance, I'll, you know, uh, respond as soon as possible. Um, you know, I'm the one doing everything, so you just got to give me some time and I'll, you know, email you okay. back. Um, and again, you send, send you a message on Facebook? Yes, so send, you know I am. Yeah, send me a message on Facebook because I need to, to see who you are. Yeah, I like to see my clients, you know, or just have an awareness of who I'm speaking with. That would be nice. Um, and then okay. I would and then I would tag you in the holistic uh, detox thing. And then I will also share this video, this recording for you. All right. Oh, okay. All right, beloved. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Peace and love. All right. Peace.